Alrighty. Okay. Let's go Hugin. What, what characters did I pick? Did you catch uh, it? I think Hugin is a wolf main. Oh, okay, yeah. And Dr. Sex is Ness. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Ness against a heavyweight. Probably got some, probably got some really solid combos yeah. against Wolf. Yeah, some nasty but Huggin, combos. But Hugin... Hugin... Hugin. Yeah. Sorry. Hugin seems like he really knows what he's doing with the Wolf, so... Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got a lot of the good tech down when it comes to Wolf. Yeah. I feel like his combo game is just slightly lacking. He plays a little bit too slow charty, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, he, he's familiar with his options, cool. but he doesn't exercise them, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, laser I guess is pretty pretty standard for wolf. Yeah, it is. Expecting a matchup like this, mm -hmm. where you want to just keep the opponent off you. Yeah, where where getting one grab could mean a zero to death. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like that's just heavyweight to the whole in PM. Is if is if the opponent knows what they're doing every day of the week, it's just death. Yeah. So yeah, on that dash attack on the shield, I, I was expecting to shine out a shield. Ooh. I guess he can shine that. Yeah, he can. Yeah. <laughs> a any Every projectile can be shined. Ooh! <laughs> got, got the tip of the bat! Yeah, right back at him. Oh, where goes the stock? Okay. How oh, do you know where he from? Uh... I don't know where he's from, but I've played him before in Calgary. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Brad had a salt event at a Sandman Hotel. Okay. And he was there. Okay. Because, like, that, that's the only one player that I've seen in the bracket that's like, I don't know where this kid's from. <laughs> yeah. So I'm always intrigued to see. Because, like, if he's from Calgary, maybe these guys have past magic, past magic experience, too. Mm -hmm. Would have been nice to see Jordan that side B, but shortening side B is hard. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the reasons I can't play space. Damn. With the eye on that. He probably would have still died off the side. Yeah. No, yeah, he's probably predicting. Ooh, there we go. Oh, if he got the up tilt, that might have been a good confirming to him. Yeah. It's just like every time Keegan gets uh, Dr. Sex up in the air, as long as Dr. Sex is able to mix up his, his, uh, his coming down, his. Yeah, then Hugin can't really do much. Yeah. Well, I feel like Hugin's using his like more of his kill moves to get him up in the air, and it just gets him too high up, so he can't combo into. He can't combo into. Yeah, yeah. There was quite a bit of up smash landing there. Yeah. Sonic. All right, pulling out the Ooh, Sonic. Ooh, whoa, Sonic! Damn. I'm pulling out this I mean, fast you, matchup on him. You ban Green Hill Zone, obviously. It's Sonic. Uh, <laughs> no, Green Hill Zone actually has a re act Green Hill Zone's uh, lower hitbox, uh, lower blast zone. That's the word I was looking for. Lower blast zone is actually really good, and that could be good for Sonic, especially if you know how to abuse the border spike. If you can abuse the border spike really well on those stages, it's actually really great for Sonic. Mm -hmm. And I feel like SD was actually a decent choice for Sonic in this matchup. Although Sonic likes to have platforms in case he has to escape, I feel like FD is still really good. Cool. Yeah. So Sonic can like jump out of his uh, his side B, right? Uh, one of the two. It's either his side B or his down B. Because I can't remember how they work, but I believe one of them you can act out of on hit, and then the other one you can jump out of. Mm -hmm. I think it's down B you can jump out of, and the side B you can act out of on. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, you did there make you it. Oh, oh no, you had to fair. So. Had to fair. Fair decision, if you ask me. Anyway, uh. Fair enough. But no, uh. I feel like I feel like Hugin has the Sonic down pretty well because Sonic really plays a, re, Sonic really plays a lot better when he's playing a, when he's playing a bait game like a like a, a yeah, bait like punish a, kind a, of game. Yeah, just sit there waiting. Like the the yeah. But with Doctor Sex, something, ooh, ooh that there. There we go. Yeah, it out too. That's good. I, I I do think that Ness could have lived that if he died so hard. In. But, but I, I could just Maybe. be delusional. Yeah. Oh, good there. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you good option on the spring. Yeah. So, Ooh. Yep. I was gonna say, uh, Hugin is uh, getting his turn to, to have the mix ups when he's coming down as well, but. Yeah. But he's still getting grabbed 
Yeah, exactly. At the end of it. I feel like he's I feel like he's playing too close to Sonic. Because he likes to he likes to wait around and see what the opponent will do to to mess up and then Sonic really gets it on that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Hugin's just like not on point with his out of shield options, I feel. Yeah. Like there are some times yeah, like, that Dr. Like, Sex is like right up against the shield and he could up smash out of shield or something. Yeah, or up the oh, oh no, he missed the air dodge. Rip. But yeah, uh, I, I feel like uh, Dr. Sex gave him a lot of unsafe options on a shield that he could have punished, maybe, yeah. but I'm not too sure. Yeah. But GG.